What is up everyone, this is Multitrolls here, and today I'm going to show you how to fix when your mouse cursor freezes, jumps, or disappears in your Windows 11, 10, 8, or 7 device. So let's get right into this. So you may be wondering like sometimes when you're using your like mouse, uh, either USB or wireless, and for some reason it's just like you're typing or you're just trying to work and it just like just vanishes out of nowhere and it reappears in another screen or another location. You're like, what the hell just happened? So <laughs> that can happen for multiple reasons. It can, if you have a wireless mouse, it can happen because your battery's dying. So it could be that it just actually loses power or connection to the computer. So be sure to change your battery if you have a USB or the battery is perfectly fine. Uh, mouse, uh, we're going to try these options that I'm about to suggest right now. So the first thing is you want to actually go into control panel and you want to have this basically by small icons or whatever, however you have it, but you want to be able to click into the mouse option. So once you're in here, we're going to do two things in pointer options for, for people, this is happening to you want to in a disable enhance printer precision and disable hide printer while pointer while top, top typing you basically then going to press okay this is solution number one to kind of like help fix this issue because it should help relieve the possible issue that you're having causing this to occur the next one we're going to basically try is we're going to try to like update or uninstall the actual drivers of the mouse itself so what that means is you're going to go to the search bar and you're going to write device manager in here you're going to find mice and other pointing devices and we're going to find the mice we're specifically or whatever you're using. I'm assuming it should be one per computer. It shouldn't be more than one. Um, you're going to basically right click into this. First, you're going to try to update the driver. You're going to see if it finds everything. Just do search automatically. It'll probably tell you it's either is installed or it is not installed. If it isn't great, let's update the drivers. You can disable it and re-enable it. And for final option, try to uninstall it, restart your computer and let it install again. You can like always to update drivers and like kind of search for hardware changes and it'll find it and it'll reinstall it for you. Uh, so, you want to try this restart your computer and hopefully this goes away. The next one is it's very possible that it is actually your windows causing this issue, meaning there's actually lag or issues occurring on the windows itself. You want to actually type something called troubleshooting settings. And over here you want to basically find, you want to basically troubleshoot the items. So you can do, you can actually ask, you can do like run troubleshooters automatically. Don't notify me automatically run the troubleshoots, et cetera, et cetera. It gives you like all the different options on how you want to troubleshoot it. And you can see it's like, for me, it never does a troubleshooting kind of sucks. Uh, but you can have the different troubleshooters here. You want to specifically click on additional troubleshooters and you want to find the specific one. That's kind of, I guess, annoying or not annoying, I guess, right? But the ones causing the problems for you and you want to troubleshoot those items and essentially take it from there. So it should be specifically like more in the connection or Bluetooth, or I guess, yeah, it would be, I guess it would be like network, mm, Bluetooth, I guess. Well, or no, I want to be program, but you get my point. <laughs> We're going to do the essentially troubleshoot these specific devices and let it run, see if there's actually something with the windows itself causing this issue and kind of like essentially run it from there and take it from there, restart your computer, and then you should be hopefully good to go. So yeah, that's basically it. Hopefully you guys can try those methods out. It ends up working for you, resolves this issue, and you're good to go. Uh, yeah, if you guys overall like this video, please smash that like button a lot. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. And that more throws out.